in this church, we believe that Jesus calls us to follow him, that he lived and died and rose again to set us free from sin and death, and that he has made a way for us to be the sort of people we were created to be, to have loving relationships with our loving God and with each other. And when someone has committed themselves to the way of Christ, when they've made a decision to do things his way rather than their own, we baptise them, a sign of their new life in Jesus. And it is this powerful act that gives Baptist churches their name. Rather than me waffle on about baptism, instead I want to show you a video of a couple of young men from our church family who were baptised this last Sunday. Uh, hi, I'm Josh. I've been um, a Christian all my life. I was dedicated 16 years ago in um, Chelmsford Elam Church, which is um, quite some way away. And I've moved around, ending up just like in Whitley Bay just before the pandemic four years ago. Um, and my journey has been massively helped by my family and all the youth leaders around me, especially when, like, especially here when there hasn't, I haven't always been in a church with a great youth section. Um, so yeah. Over the last couple of months, I've started to feel more confident in speaking about my faith in Jesus um, to just people around me, just explaining why I believe the things I do. Because a lot of people like look at Christianity as like a relic of the past. Um, so I've always believed in God, but never quite believed in his spirit, um, like here working among us in our day to day lives. And I fully experienced like God's work when I was at Spring Harvest last week. Um, the things he did to the people, like whether it was small or spectacular, I felt in like move for all the young people there. And I prayed especially for those who have additional needs, who don't always have like the best lives and where people laugh at them more than they laugh with them. Um, so I prayed for protection. I like did truly feel that Jesus will be looking over them. And then throughout that week, I had a really strong feeling that the Holy Spirit like moved within me and is still moving and working through me. Um, it wasn't then that I knew I wanted to be baptised, even though like that week did master, like bring me so much closer to God. Um, I was in a house group and there was a passage that was read and it was from Acts 22, verse 16. And it's, now why do you wait? Rise and be baptised and wash away your sins, calling on his name. And it was like then that I knew, it's like, why should I wait? And I felt the Lord move within me and I knew it was like the perfect time to act upon what I'd like experienced in that last week and like I should follow in the footsteps of um, Christ. Josh, do you believe in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit? Yes, I do. In obedience to Christ, do you turn away from sin and come to be baptised? Yes, I do. With the help of the Holy Spirit, do you offer your life in service to God? Yes, sir. Then come and be baptised. Oh, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> <Terrible. laughs> On your profession of faith um, and your trust in the Lord Jesus, and in the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we baptise you. Father God, we praise and thank you for Josh and his commitment to you. We thank you that your love has set him free. And I just pray right now you would fill him with your Holy Spirit. Fill him to overflowing. That he might live and work for your glory. I pray, guide him in your paths as he plans and prepares for his future. May it be the future that you have set before him. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Theo, do you believe in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit? Yes. In obedience to Christ, do you turn away from sin and come to be baptised? Yes. With the help of the Holy Spirit, do you offer your life in service to God? Yes. Then come and be baptised. <laughs> Theo, we have heard your repentance of faith, and now in the name of God, Father, Son, and Spirit, we baptise you.
Father God, we praise you for Theo. We thank you that you have made yourself known to him and guided him here to this point where he has made this public declaration of his faith in you. And we pray now that you would fill him with your Holy Spirit, that you would equip him for the tasks that you have set for him, for the life before him, that he might live and glorify your holy name. Amen. On the 21st of May, we are going to be filling the pool again and we hope to have some more baptisms. If you're interested in being baptised or want to find out more about what it means, please get in touch with me. And if you'd like to join us on the 21st of May to see for yourself some individuals publicly committing themselves to the way of Jesus, we'd love you to join us then too.